took a deep breath. Not... Not really, I paused. But I am curious. My voice, at least, was composed. Oh. Oh, God. (laughs) 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 He was suddenly resigned. What are you curious about? How old are you? Seventeen. He answered promptly. And how long have you been seventeen? His lips twitched as he stared at the road. A while. He admitted at last. Okay, I smiled, pleased that he was still being honest with me. He he stared down at me with watchful eyes, much as he had before. But but when he was worried, I would go into shock. (laughs) I smiled wider in encouragement, and he frowned. Don't laugh. But how can you come out? Oh, <laughs> don't laugh. But how long can you come out during the daytime? <laughs> <laughs> he laughed anyway. Miss burned by the sun. Miss sleeping in coffins. Miss. He hesitated for a moment, and a peculiar tone entered his voice. I can't sleep. It took me a minute to absorb that. At all. Never, he said, his voice nearly inaudible. He turned to look at me with a wish- wistful expression. The golden eyes held mine, and I lost my train of thought. I stared at him until he looked away. <laughs> you haven't asked me the most important the question one. yet. His voice was hard now, and when he looked at me again, his eyes were cold. I blinked, still dazed. Which one is that? You aren't concerned about my diet? He asked sarcastically. Oh, I murmured, that, yes, that, his voice was bleak, (laughs) don't you want to know, don't you know, don't you want to know if I drink blood, I flinched, well, Jacob said something about that, what did Jacob say, he asked flatly, he said you didn't hunt people, he said your family wasn't supposed to be dangerous because you only hunted animals, (coughs) he said we weren't dangerous, His voice was deeply skeptical. Not exactly. He said you weren't supposed to be dangerous. But the... (laughs) Still still didn't want you on their land, just in case. He looked forward, but I couldn't tell if he was watching the road or not. So was he right about not hunting people? I tried to keep my voice as even as possible. (laughs) The... The quill you have a long memory, he whispered. I took it as a confirmation. Don't let that make you complacent, though, he warned me. They're right to keep their distance from us. We are still dangerous. I don't understand. We try. (laughs) 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 But then he pinched my butt. Anyway. (laughs) That wasn't the bench, by the way. Um, We try, he explained slowly. We're usually very good at what we do. Sometimes we make mistakes. Me, for example, allowing myself to be alone with you. This is a mistake? I heard the sadness in my voice, but I didn't know if he could tell as well. Or if he could as well. A very dangerous one, he murmured. (laughs) We were both silent then. I watched the headlights twist with the curves of the road. They moved too fast. It didn't look real. It looked like a video game. I was aware of the time slipping away so quickly. Like the bl- <laughs> like the black road beneath us. And I was hideously afraid that I would never have another chance to be with him like this again. Openly, the walls between us gone for once. His words hinted at an end, and I recoiled from the idea. I, <laughs> I couldn't waste one minute I had with him. Tell me more, I asked desperately. Like, not, caring, have a car? not caring what he said, just so I could hear his voice again. He looked at me quickly, startled by the change in my tone. What more do you want to know? <laughs> Tell me why you hunt animals instead of people, I suggested, my voice still tinged with desperation. I realized my eyes were wet, and I fought against the grief that was trying to overpower me. I don't want to be a monster. His voice was very low. But animals aren't enough. But animals, uh, but animals aren't enough. <laughs> he paused. <laughs> I can't can't be sure, of course, but I'd compare it to living on tofu and soy milk. We call ourselves vegetarians, our little inside joke. It doesn't completely 
satiate the hunger, or rather thirst, but it keeps us strong enough to resist most of the time. His tone turned ominous. Sometimes it's more <laughs> difficult than others. Is it very difficult for you now? I asked. He sighed. Yes. <laughs> but you're not hungry now, I said confidently, stating, not asking. Why do you think that? <laughs> Your eyes. I told you I had a theory. I've noticed that people, men in particular, are crabbier when they're hungry. <laughs> he chuckled. You are observant, aren't you? I didn't answer. I just listened to the sound of his laugh, committing it to memory. <laughs> Were you hunting this weekend with Emmett? I asked when it was quiet again. Yes. He paused for a second, as if deciding whether or not to say something. I didn't want to leave, but it was necessary. It was a bit easier to be around you when I'm not thirsty. Why didn't you want me to leave? It makes me anxious to be away from you. His eyes were gentle but intense, and they seemed to be making my bones soft. <laughs> bones turned soft. I wasn't joking when I asked you to try not to fall in the ocean or get run over last Thursday. I was distracted all weekend, worrying about you. And after what happened tonight, I'm surprised that you did make it through a whole weekend unscathed. <laughs> he shook his head and then seemed to remember something. Well, not totally unscathed. <laughs> what? Your hand. He reminded me. I looked down at my palms, at the almost Sinata! at the almost healed scrape across the heels of my hands. His <coughs> eyes missed something. I fell. I sighed. That's what I thought. His lips curled up, curved up at the corners. I suppose, being you, it could have been much worse, and that possibility tormented me the entire time I was away. It was a very long three days. I really got on Emmett's nerves. He smiled ruefully at me. Three days? Didn't you just get back today? No, we got back.